moment feed me feels like I'm drifting this a makeshift mission guy what you gonna You're watching do the micro media show and I'm here with one of the coolest fans from New Brunswick cooked up with Cause you feel uneven and I'm you are with a hundred million different schemes to make go to cook up on my thoughts Cause I need a couple bucks to keep working along on these couple dozen songs Long nights and bomb nights and no skin beat Bones to the beat on my post to the post on my bones Bill Bronco Sam and I play the knives and fire Cook thug list. What does that mean? Um, it started off as a, a as a joke before we were even making music. It was like this running theme of this fake band on Cook Douglas campus called Cook Douglas. That was a uh, just a bunch of scrappy dudes making rap music. And then when we actually did start a band, we tried so hard to find what the name would be, and uh, <laughs> we ended up not being able to come up with anything other than Cook Douglas. So we stayed true to our inside joke and then committed to it. And now five years later. The brand. How many albums do you have? Well, we got three albums and two EPs. Okay, and you guys just released the album Money. Yo, yeah. One of did. your albums. Yeah. One of your albums secretly leaked that you were gonna do Money in the future. Right. I know. It's like we. I got. I, I, I was spoken to someone in a dream came to me and said, "This is gonna be the, the one that made. You got to make money. You have to make it. Make money at some point." So we made it. We made money. Simpsons or Family Guy. Oh man. oh man, I'll let you take this one. Family, family Guy, guy. Oh. just cause, I don't know man, I'm sorry. I'm so glad you said that. The new guy. Simpsons is just not the same. We all, we all, oh, old everybody Simpsons. knows that. Episode guy, man. season 11, then it's done. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say both. Because oh, man. there's he's, no Family Guy without man. the Simpsons. He's always That is true. That's pretty true. He's always oh yeah, idiot. that's pretty true bro. Shout out, Family Guy. Simpsons <laughs> Family Guy. Oh man, I already voted. I'm, I'm all about the Family Guy side. Family dude. Uh -huh. All right. That's pretty good. Yeah, yep. Oh, agreed. Family agreed. Bird. Family Guy. All the way. I think that wins, Mike. Starland or Stone Pony? Um, neither. Stone Pony. Neither. Stone neither. Stone Pony. Stone neither Stone venue. Pony. They got all, Bubba both pay to play Stone venues. Now. They they're ruining local music. Whoa. 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 What? I've, I've never had the. I think that's that's. I, I, don't, I, don't know how, Stone Pony. I don't know anything about this. I'm staying out of this beef. Stone Pony was good to us. Great sound system. They have, they have Shouts Chipotle out to Pony. or uh, what do you call it? Bubba Kuzas now in Stone Pony. Bubba Kuzas? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've never had the we've never had the pleasure of playing either of those venues yeah. actually. So uh, we're gonna take a, a back seat uh, from from his opinion. This is a hard question that a lot of people can't answer. Let's see, Wawa or Sheets? That's Wawa. like number one Wawa. Facebook. One hundred percent Wawa. Wawa, 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 Wawa. You don't even, even know, John. Sheets? John's from Miami. He doesn't know. Uh, I don't, I don't they have Wawa. I've never been. To oh yeah, they do have Wawa in Miami. Well, in Florida somewhere. Anyways, Wawa all day. I have to say quick check if that's another oh, option. Yeah. I'm, a quick, I'm a quick check that's guy. That's not even but, on know. the list. Man. Hold on, I'm going to go through all of you know, Shit. We're looking for that quick check sponsorship, actually. So, you know, anyway, quick check has the season. soggiest, dirty <laughs> socks. Sam, Wawa all yeah, the way, man. Jimmy Wawa. John. Yeah, another Sam's Wawa guy. Oh, oh, Good looking, yeah. Sam. Can't believe he said quick check. Where's the nearest Wawa? Uh, down Route 1, probably. No, I'm I, sure it's near. Riders Lane. Riders Lane. Riders Lane, yeah, he's correct. And it was built one by Middlesex County College. Oh, wow. Dude, they need you to can't... build one here. A Put life without campus. Wawa, honestly, cool. is a life not lived. I I feel for anyone in the Midwest who don't experience wow, it. Wow, it's man. just a terrible, terrible thing. <sighs> they should... Okay. You heard it here. <laughs> you heard it. Okay. <laughs> Favorite local band to go see? To go see? Yeah. Like on a Friday night, you're like, you and the boys are like, let's go see a local band. Who okay. do you go? Who would you want to go see? You you can pick the band. Um, this is a Philadelphia, Scarlet Philadelphia and Trenton based band, um, but Molly sometimes Rhythm? they play up north. Um, Molly Rhythm, honorable mention to them, but uh, I'm gonna say Chalk and the Beige Americans. Woo. Never heard of them. Straight up. Murdoch, bro. In. Murdoch. Uh, also, <laughs> uh, Professor Caveman, fucking Woo. rocks it. Yes. Uh, Rob Romano all oh, day. Oh yeah, dude. I I go. We, we go way back as acquaintances, you know? We have great, like... Like the like, hair. Uh, yeah, he goes. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'd have to say the Crypt Keeper 5, because they're Ooh. just local legends. OG, OG killers, straight up. And, and they put on a great show every time I see them. So, no doubt in your mind, go see the K... No, oh, CK5. Go see the CK5 Yo, if you're CK looking what? for a nice local show. I've got another one, too. Yo, Red Giant kills it. Yeah, 
Red Giant. Red Giant. Red Giant. <laughs> Shout out to local bands. I want to say Hong Kong Graffiti's dope. Those oh, guys are killing yeah, it. Huh? Yep. And then also our, our boys, of course, yeah, Conundrum. Same squad, similar squad. Those guys kill it. Another JC group. And then, uh, and then of course, Days and Delavi. They're our boys. It's, oh, you know, it's like yeah. the direct. Jenny Delavi and Days. Those guys are rocking it. <laughs> I have a two-pronged answer. I would say when I'm juggling uh, Cook Thugless, and then when I'm not juggling Cook Thugless. So that's, that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> this guy's on the team. What do you feel about what do you feel about downloading music online, like Apple, Spotify? Uh, however, the music comes out, people are gonna steal it. So just get just make music and get rid of it for free. Yeah, you don't make money off the music. You make money off of the touring and the merch and all money. that You don't make money. How come the album's called Money? Bro, you made we had money. to make it. Well, now I can say we made it. We made some money. Dad. Clever. Be proud. I think sites like Spotify and streaming sites are robbing musicians of the art that they're doing. Um, I've been making music for a long time. Um, and I've seen some profit, and it's only been profit from me doing stuff myself. You know, they're taking, what do you get, like 10 cents a stream? I think it's like you only make money if you're Justin Bieber. Spotify and uh, I, is like I work just as hard. I work just as hard. So uh, Spotify that's all is 0.001% or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 10%, 10 cents per stream fee. Something like that. I probably owe you guys 20 bucks because I play enough on Spotify. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thanks, dude. Does Bieber have that? Oh, man. Streaming's probably cool. not. Fuck Bieber. I think streaming's cool, but... I got Bieber fever, but fuck Yo, him. Bieber's great. Shout out to Justin Bieber. Yo, I like, I like streaming. New Taylor yeah. Swift is not good, but she's still yeah, that hot. New, that new single was really rough. And brand new? Get out of New Jersey. You guys are bad. Keep going. Uh, oh, so I can give you another question. On, on the streaming game or where was the music industry at large? Yeah, yeah, just what Riley said. Here's a, here's a hard one. Favorite slice of pizza in New Jersey. Oh, as, yeah. New Jersey as a whole. Wherever. Like what, what like, place is my spot? What's your favorite spot? Like you're going out, you got, you got the lady with you, and you're getting a slice of pizza. Where do you go to bring her? It could be New Brunswick or anywhere in Jersey. Wait, are we just naming like a city or like the spot? A spot. Like my favorite out. pizza place is Federici's in Freehold because they got the best thin. Is that the Bruce Springsteen place? I've heard good things. Uh, uh, yeah, I, is, he might. Yeah, I think his good, keyboard player had spot. something to do I've with heard that. Good things about that spot. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to shout out in my hometown of Sparta, good old Villa Capri too. It's the place they have like so the selection. It's the stuff. I'm gonna have to shout out Trenton, New Jersey, <laughs> for the best pizza. In I know the nation, say. in the world, what in the it? world, we have the best pizza. Let me tell you that: Di Lorenzo's, yes. Jojo's, Cafe Antonio's, Villa Maria, Papa's. I could go on and on yeah. and on. People, <laughs> is this really a question? For real? Nah, nah. I've got the I've got the real king. There's this awesome Japanese restaurant uh, down Rue pizza. One <laughs> that does a great like tuna sashimi like pizza. Oh, that's that's disgusting! disgusting. <laughs> it's just like tuna sashimi <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Right. And that's the freshest. <laughs> that's and you gotta get your protein. Cheese and bread does nothing. Daniel's Pizza it's in New filler. Brunswick. Um, what JTD said about Trenton tomato pie. What about best slice in Brunswick? Because there's so many. Pass. Yeah, Yo, know. there's this really good Japanese restaurant down Rue 1 that has a great Daniel's sashimi pizza? pizza. It's very fresh. I, I'd have to look up the name of it. JTD Pizza and <laughs> JTD Restaurant. <laughs> every, every pizza place I've been to in New Brunswick is awful. <laughs> Straight up, not good. It's not good. You gotta go to Brunswick Pizza. It's they the don't most know. generic. Just, I am in a one place in New Brunswick that knows. That knows. There's like a, like a, a brotherhood of pizza makers. They don't know. Go they honestly that. don't. They, they, they've probably been rejected. That's halal pizza, by the I, way. I don't even know about New Brunswick pizza. Jim doesn't go know. Trenton. You gotta go to Trenton for pizza. Trenton, 609. I know that. What was, what was the first album you've ever bought without a parent? Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what you think. Now seven. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I, gotta remember. I think I have them up to like 20. Now that's what I call I, music. Now that's what I call Cook Douglas. It was a it was a combination of boy band CDs. This band together, as well as In Sync. Yes. I'm pretty sure I bought the Pokemon um, soundtrack. That was what I bought, and These it was the, the best dopest answer. shit I've ever heard in my life. I played it so much that the CD melted. That's that's, That's how dope that shit was. Hardcore. Straight up, that CD was a melted, motherfucker. Back in the day. When we drove to Florida, the shit melted, dog. 
Wait, we were trying. You know how to, you drive to Florida, right? Yeah. That's a long drive. If you don't stop it's playing like Pokemon days. soundtrack, it melts, bro. Like, no lie. You you gotta catch first. them all. Yeah. <laughs> Mark tells the truth here. Never told anyone that. Yeah, no, it's never. Dude. That's never told anyone. That. Breaking news. Uh, <laughs> oh man, I think the first album I ever bought was a Weird Al album, and that was also my first concert. So nice. shout out to nope. Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah, first album I bought was this weird solo artist guy named Peter Mulvey, who's actually pretty good. I still listen to him and juggle to his music, so <laughs> scope that out. Yeah. Nice, that's good. Good nice. shout out, Sam. Good shout out. Yeah, you were saying, oh my God, uh, the zippers you said Pokemon. There's a band you should check out from New Jersey called Super Thrash Bros. And they cover, they cover Pokemon, they cover anything from Sonic. So my friends, it didn't happen, but my friends were supposed to get, a, they were doing a music festival, and they were going to get, at any level you're on on Super Smash Bros, that band was going to play it live. They can play every level you're on, That's whatever so level. Sick. Wow. They do, they're playing the, the New Jersey video game convention today. That's so Super cool, Thrash dude. Bros. They're and they're like the a soundtrack. progressive, a progressive like rocky, like probably like, I would say like a little metal-ish. Yeah, and they man. play. They're really that good. Awesome. Shout out to them. Shout out to yeah, them. Yeah, Super awesome. Thrash Bros. Yeah, that's why. Super Thrash Bros. How do you promote your band? How? Poorly. <laughs> Micromedia. 100%. Micromedia. Oh, Where is that? That's how I promote it. Aside from Micromedia, we, we try to reach out to a lot of blogs. Um, we do Facebook, Making Instagram waves. primarily. Working on Twitter, but you know, Twitter's kind of for fuckboys, I say. <laughs> Twitter's honestly for fuckboys. Um, don't do shit unless you're paying some PR okay, asshole too much money to do shit for you that, that shouldn't be, you know. Just Why does it matter that's how much? Talent matters, all right? I don't care how many followers like someone has. Talent matters. That's what used to matter. In this age of social media, I think that's it's it's stitches. ruining the uh, stitches. Yeah. Ew, yo. yo, shout out, um, yo. what's that name? How, what's what's there was that a name? GoFundMe Snacks, for... right? Shout out Snacks. Oh, yeah. No, Snacks? That's s'mores, bro. S'mores. Oh, s'mores. Oh, I thought you were talking about s'mores. my friend's rap group. Is, he's a DJ called Snacks. I love both Snacks. of those things. S-N-A-X. Oh, that's pretty good. Because it, um, it's Box and Snap X. Um, yeah, I got I got off on a rant. What was, that? What was the question again? The question was <laughs> social media. How do you do it? Um, yeah, we do it. It's just a, a matter of, I'm you know, how shit, much bro. time it's... <laughs> It's almost like it's almost like a, a full-time job, you know. And playing music should be enough. I'm gonna I'm gonna back up something that uh, J T D said, but with a little bit of different wording. Uh, basically, social media is more beneficial for people if they're already famous. So it's hard for us to really succeed on platforms like you have Twitter. To pay for Facebook. Um, so we do pretty well with Facebook. Yo, we fucking killing out here with that Instagram game, though. Fuck y'all. Insta uh, we, yeah, we swag it. Insta fame, Insta yo. Fame. Slowly crawling, bro. Yeah. Going for that 2K soon. Yo. Well, what was your favorite show you guys ever played? Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, maybe, maybe, oh. uh... Didn't you guys Dude, play Babies Scarlet All Right? Was, that last that Scarlet Club dope. one was there like was the like best There was like people there. That was like the best NB show, I think. There was we people played. standing on chairs because they couldn't see. It was Um... Man, there's been such good ones. Some of the OG basement <laughs> show ones, like oh, yeah. 67 Handy. Don't, no. Nope. Oh my god. I don't even know if it's a show no house No addresses. Anymore. It doesn't oh. matter. Okay. It's probably not even a show house It doesn't anymore. matter, but still, no addresses. No addresses. Because they're cops. Because um, it's never know. in New Brunswick. House you got a sense of When that. you guys played at uh, Tiki Lounge, that was pretty cool with the dead flowers. That was pretty cool. There's, Tiki I'm, Lounge was Oh late, man, dude. at my house, we do these oh, things man. for my birthday. Uh, and, and we play on the roof at my house and it's great because after Word. the show I'm home and everyone's there. Brunswick? In, in Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Bushwick, yeah. Bushwick. Bushwick. Bushwick's, Bushwick's where it's the at. The poor man's Brunswick. Poor man's Brunswick. Bushwick is probably more. Nah, Bushwick's popping. <laughs> I think Anything in Brooklyn is more. Ah, uh, man, I, I disagree. I probably think better pizza. Bush, Bushwick's pretty dope. Um, it's just a matter of like who you're there with because yeah, any place can be boring, you know? Yeah. But like you just gotta find you gotta find stuff. But um, what was I gonna say? Uh, question. What was Shout outs to Rutgers Bangers with a Z on Instagram. Oh yes, yes. The That's best the shows we have ever played. Best show I ever played was one of them was uh really I call it the Ice Bowl show at JL's house with Butchwick oh on your my roof. God. The Ice Bowl man. <laughs> we played out on Jean Louis's roof. Let me tell you, it was like. What was it, like 10 fucking degrees? It was, so it was like 10 degrees. People's instruments were freezing. Our like instruments man. couldn't feel my fingers, but once we started getting warmed up and the music you outshined. Could tell, you could tell who really was there. Yeah. For it. They had, for to, they had to bear nice. the elements. Bear the, it was amazing. All it was right, like, we got like 
Two more questions left. All right, all right. If you had one last meal to eat before you died, what would it be and why? Oh. There's this really great uh, sushi restaurant down Route 1 that has an amazing sushi pizza. I would for sure. I'm gonna cut, the, cut that out and just post that. I'm for sure gonna recommend that as your What's last meal. What's it called? Meal. I gotta look it up. Give me a second. I'll come back to me. I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, John Louis was so convincing, I want that to be my last meal too. All right. For my last meal? Yeah. Oh man, dude. Yeah, that's pretty grim. I'd maybe, say maybe Cinco de Mayo in New Brunswick. I'd have a lot of freaking food, man. I'd have. I want a burrito. A chicken and waffle sandwich. Ooh. With syrup and powdered sugar. Ooh. A big <laughs> sirloin, fucking steak. A big ass steak, like medium well, because that's how I like it. Um, I'd have. I'd have like the best craft beer Jeez ever. I'd have some crazy craft beer that like is like twenty percent alcohol yeah, you're volume. Right. So I get real drunk. What alcohol? And then, I don't know, like some, you know how crap is. PBR? Nah, I do like PBR, honestly. Brunswick drink I wouldn't of get choice. that. That's not a last, like, I'm dying That's beer. That's more of a, like, I want to die beer. Um, Shout out to PBR. <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream, too. Oh, Rocky motherfucking road, let me tell you. Sanctuary has the best fucking... Oh, wait, no, 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 not Rocky yeah, road. Um, Oreo. There's the shit. It's called. It's by Friendly. It's called Extreme Oreo Sunday, and it has the Oreo crunches. Let me tell you, this shit's Ooh. the best goddamn ice cream you'll ever taste. Go to Shoprite, get Friendly's Extreme Sunday. <laughs> It'll rip your tits off. Oh man, my last yeah. meal ever. I don't know. Pizza. I don't know if I'd be Help hungry if I, knew, <laughs> if I knew. I wouldn't be hungry if I was dying. Uh, I would go. It's called Aja. Aja. Might as well eat, bro. If you're about to the die. Japanese Last spot, meal ever. Aja. Asian cuisine and lounge, 28 US one. I would. I could sit it, go in there for my death meal. Let's go right now. Yo, yo last meal you know, ever. I would go. <laughs> I would go sushi to that expensive ass steak good. place yeah, that you can't going. go to when you were. <laughs> we're treating. Shout out to uh, Oyako So in Freehold. Ooh. Great hibachi, bro. Let me tell you. Less less meal? <laughs> Damn. You um you know, I would probably some... pick I would probably pick like a steak restaurant that costs like fifty dollars a steak because I'm gonna die tomorrow. Exactly, bro. And, get it, and like, I wouldn't even pay for it because I know I'm gonna die. <laughs> I would tell the owner, I'll be like, dining, fuck you, sir. Dining dining bitch. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm done. Alright. If you're eating a black and white cookie, what side do you start with? Definitely, I definitely start. I definitely start with with uh, with black because I like to save the white for after. I like the I like the taste of the white part more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is totally like. Is that it's just, racist? I don't know. No, it's really not. I was thinking that was One is like a glaze, and then one is chocolate. I just feel like the chocolate's but too bitter. But the thing bitter. is, I'm trying they're to get... both the same. They both taste the same. Are you talking about they don't. Cookie? No, you know, like they when you go totally to New different. York. And you go to a deli, they have like black and white, but it's both the same flavor. from flavors, Miami, that's not, we, we have different flavors. Over The white and the black taste different. Um, <laughs> I, I hate those cookies. I only like Oreos. I thought you were talking about Oreos, but those white and like, with those Italian cookies, right? Yeah. They're terrible, man. I don't like what? them. Yeah, well, those I, are the best. I just wouldn't eat it. That's what I would say. I wouldn't Damn. eat it. JT is justice. He likes, but he doesn't like either of them. No, it's just like, I don't. But that hurts right out. here. I love Looking those man, cookies. They're, they're good. I don't know. I don't feel strong. I grew up right? on those because my mom lived in the city, and that's all she, she used to like give them to me all the time because the bakery was down the street. Yeah, that makes sense, sense, man. What's your favorite side on the on these cookies? I, I don't, don't know. Have a lot of there is. They're really. Yeah, they're both the same. So I don't know. No, it's one. I just. It's a throw off question. It's one of those things like you'll never know. Yeah, yeah. Like if a tree if a tree falls in the woods, do you hear it? That's the question. Yeah. So yeah, maybe down the middle. Just you know, just right down, down the middle. Now I got, I got like two That's more, two more oh, versus questions. We got SpongeBob or Patrick. Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Shout out Patrick. Patrick. I mean, SpongeBob's yeah, classic. Why do you, you pick gotta, Patrick? You, know, you gotta feel good for him. Patrick's the man. Like. Everyone feels bad for Patrick, so they gotta pick him. No, I think it's, it's not like exactly that. I'm telling the contrary. Everyone, I think everyone here is Patrick. No, I'm not. not. No, he's just a, he's just a relatable SpongeBob. guy. SpongeBob. SpongeBob's a little crazy. He's don't listen. Don't listen to these guys. SpongeBob. Because he's the light in Patrick's life, honestly. Oh, Patrick. Think where would Patrick together. be if SpongeBob wasn't there? That's all I. I am not the. Is this Cook Douglas? No, this is Patrick. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> all right, so we're mostly Patrick. Okay, smoking or vaping? Well, on three, ready? Three, two, one. Smoking. 
I think we all and agree. And I'm talking about cigarettes, not I'm, that oh, other stuff. I'm straight edge. I don't do any drugs. Do shit, smoke yeah. drugs. Don't smoke snakes. I don't drug. I don't do drugs. You gotta, you gotta but I heard some. Pack in your mouth and just I don't do drugs. I've never smoked a cigarette. I'm never smoked that, weed. Those never drank any alcohol. I also do crack. <laughs> Shouts out to the, the address we're not supposed to say. You can't see addresses. Oh. One, two, three, Sesame Street. <laughs> One, two, three, Sesame Street. Calm down. This place. Now okay. All right. Where's now we rock? got we got one more question. <laughs> What's the last question? A button-up shirt or a t-shirt? Huh. Huh. I like the button-up button shirt. You got you got some dreams. options with a button-up shirt, you know. Button-ups. <laughs> I'd like yeah. to say uh, t-shirts are just because I hate dressing up and I hate the stigma clothes puts on other people because people judge you for just you know the way that you wear. I like to, I Yo, almost wear this every Venus. day. Look at what I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm wearing a tank top, like shorts, some stupid socks, and some stupid sneakers. Don't like but like, rest you, man. I don't care how I look. Judge me for who I am, not for what I'm wearing. You know, that's why I like to wear things like this because people like I go out and they're like, oh, like look at this guy. He's about to drum, and then I, I, I blow him out this of the dude's water. Fucking you. Blow him out the water, and they're like, oh, like, I guess I shouldn't guy? have judged him because he looks stupid. You know, I feel so like he's gonna beat me up. Wear what you want, people. Yeah, man. JT, don't let don't let clothes oppress you. It's shirts off the clock every day. Yeah, social norms aren't cool, man. Wear whatever you want. <laughs> How do I find the Douglas on the internet? Um, At Cook Douglas on Instagram and uh, Cook Douglas on Facebook. Cook Douglas on Facebook. T H U G L E S S. Not Kirk Douglas. Not Cook Douglas. Cook Thug Less. Not like Kirk Douglas. It's Cook Thugless. Very different. Like thug Less, thug. like no thugs. Like like. Like at, Missy like Elliott. There's less thugs than other types of, of people. Like like, like Missy here. Elliott. Yeah, thug Less. Um, She's Thugless. Cook, cook Thugless on Bandcamp, Cook Thugless on Spotify, Cook Thugless on YouTube, Cook Thugless on Facebook, Cook nice Thugless on Twitter, but it's for fuckboys. Title? Cook Thugless on Title. Oh. Cook Thugl Thugless on Spotify. Did I say Spotify already? You Yo, guys new want to wrap the line next now? week. Look out Pandora. For yeah? Yeah. Pandora. The internet. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can find us on the internet. <laughs> find us on the internet, man. Just go on there. Go to Google. They'll help you find us. Yeah. Google. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we right. Man, shouts out Micro shout mi out. Micro Media. Thank Yo, you for shouts out Brittany, shouts out Targum. <laughs> shouts out Murdoch. Targum? Murdoch. Shout, shout, shout out, out, out Tap Out. Shouts out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Shouts out the music industry. Where are you at? Shout out Caroline. Let's, at, let's get something together. Coffee. Sweet coffee. Collab art. Feature us. Surprise! Shout out Bob Macon. Shout out Bob Macon. He's making waves. Bob Macon! Surprise! Alright, you heard it here from New Brunswick's favorite indie, punk, rock, rap, hardcore, whatever the hell you want to call it. Jazz rap. One of the best bands in New Brunswick right now, hey. killing it. Yeah. Enjoy.